well. Uh, to one of our top stories tonight, the African Council of Ministers in charge of the African Continental Free Trade Area is charging all member countries to publish their various tariff concessions and trade schedules for all traders. Now, the move is to ensure transparency in trading and also make member countries aware of what products and tariffs they are trading under. The Council of Ministers in charge of AFTA, which is the second highest body of the agreement, made the expectations known at the fifth session uh, in Accra. My colleague, always on that beat, is Eben Sabute. He joins us via Zoom from our newsroom. Eben, you've been following that uh, meeting today. Tell us a bit more about what has been going on in the past two days. Okay, so uh, for the past two days, the African uh, Council of Ministers, which is, like you indicated, the second highest, I mean, body, council body on the uh, Continental Free Trade Agreement, seems to agree with most of the uh, negotiations that the Secretariat has come up with and most of the I mean, rules of origin agreements that they have come up. But they were raising issues with the fact that up to now, not many African citizens are aware of the tariff concessions, when we talk of tariff concessions, like if we are exporting tomatoes, if you are exporting garden egg, uh -huh. what kind of tariff is it on? Is it under a restricted booth? Is it under a free, uh, you know, product that you can export to Sierra Leone or uh, Angola for free? Right. Those are some of the things that they think citizens are not aware of, and there's the need for member countries to publish all this on either the websites of the various countries or even the after secretariats. And, website. and so this is to help uh, enable transparency, right? Uh, I'm going to ask you the exactly. final question. Um, how soon these negotiations will be concluded? So uh, according to the Secretary General of the African Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat, they are expected to be concluded before the end of this month. Uh, quoting his words, they are about 86% concluded. And the Council of Ministers also expects these things in weeks. So okay. he mentioned that, yes, they are expecting them in which so that trade can move smoothly among Africans as is stipulated in their agreement. Thanks for always bringing us up to date, Eben Sabuti, from our newsroom there. That's it for Business Live tonight. Thanks for watching, everyone. There's more news on our website, myjoyonline.com forward slash business. My name is Daryl Kwa. Thanks for watching. We are back same time tomorrow.